This is Echo 3, and let's discuss Lifting Body Space Planes. This build is inspired by Sierra Nevada Corporation's Dream Chaser, the Boeing X-37B in use by the United States Space Force, NASA's X-38, and the following proposed crafts, the Clipper, the Prometheus, and the HL-20 Personnel Launch System, all of these being made possible from Boeing's research in the late 1950s and 60s on their X-20 Dinosaur. This is not going to be a very complicated craft. The intent is to take advantage of the lifting body Mark II space plane parts and some stubby wings to give this craft cross-range capabilities. The purpose behind space planes like this in real life is that they are able to have low G loads during re-entry and the ability to pinpoint their landings on a runway. In the case of the X-37, it is also theorized that it may change its orbital inclination by lowering its periapsis into the atmosphere and using the spacecraft's aerodynamics to alter its orbit. I'm designing this space plane as an orbital taxi as that is one of the main goals for the Dream Chaser. We will need a docking port for transferring crew, a few RCS thrusters to aid in docking maneuvers, a couple solar panels, and a couple Terrier engines. The Terriers will provide a high vacuum specific impulse and enough thrust to help this craft finish getting into orbit. The last thing this craft really needs is a set of landing gear so that it can touch down safely on the runway. I am working to make sure that the RCS thrusters are placed very close to the center line with the center of mass and that they are aesthetically nice looking and kind of out of the way of other parts. I am using the mod RCS build aid to help me with the placement of those parts. As far as landings go, not all of the proposed designs would use landing gear. The dinosaur was to use a skid. The engineers were unable to protect the rubber wheels during re-entry. The Martin X-23A Prime used a parachute, and like Rocket Lab's Electron rocket, it was hoped that it could be recovered in the air, although it was to be caught by a modified C-130 and not a helicopter. We're going to switch over to the vehicle assembly building, and here we're going to build our lower stage. This is going to be a two-stage, two-orbit craft, and I put on a probe core on this because I intend to recover this section of the craft so that it will be entirely reusable. I'm going to use an engine plate. You don't have to. I just like to use it for an attachment point for engines. I'm going to use the skipper. It provides the right amount of thrust and has a decent ISP for a first stage. Now we need to put on a fair amount of wings and control surfaces on the bottom of this craft. And if you look at some of the other designs that were proposed, they had a lot of wings or a lot of aerodynamic control surfaces on the back because of all of the wings on the front of the craft. So that's just to keep it stable. Now in the case of the X-37, it's actually enclosed in a fairing and it doesn't have those issues. Now I'm going to put parachutes on this, so we're going to just recover it by having the parachutes deploy and landing in the ocean. We're not going to get all SpaceX fancy and try and do a boost back burn and land it that way. But this will work pretty well for us. So we're just going to go ahead and launch and start tilting and be fairly aggressive. We had a fairly high starting thrust to weight ratio. Now the craft, if I were to let it get too far off of prograde, it could get unstable. So I need to be careful, but as long as I do a pretty good gravity turn, this will fly very well. Some of the other proposed crafts, they were going to be these orbital taxis. Like the HL-20, it was thought that it would be used alongside NASA's space shuttle so that they could ferry crew with it and you wouldn't have to launch the entire shuttle every time. It, it would have made sense that you could have a smaller craft that was also recoverable and similar to the shuttle as far as how it would fly and, and be designed. Now, I'm going to actually try and recover this first stage. So I had to switch back to the first stage once my upper stage got out of the atmosphere. And then once we touch down in the ocean, which will take a little bit of time, I need to quickly switch back to my other craft so I can make it circularization burn because I'm right there basically at my apoapsis and I need to make this burn right away. So you can recover your entire rocket if you're careful. You need to make sure that your craft gets very far in front in its orbit. You can plan it out. There was enough time to make it happen. Now I'm going to just do a deorbit burn. There's no space station up here. This is just a test launch. 
then we're going to go ahead and try and land right on our runway. And that is one of the great things with a craft like this, is you can go ahead and land it really wherever you want. You have a lot more options, and you can pinpoint your landing. And in the case of the X-37 that Space Force uses, it's done entirely by computer. So that's really kind of an interesting thing. There's no pilot involved in that, so it just lands right there on the one ray from orbit, entirely programmed by the computer. Now we can take advantage of our craft's aerodynamics, and you can see I pulled up the aerodynamic overlay. You can see that we're getting lift. So as we are descending, we are not descending as fast as a capsule would because we're using the lift of the craft to then glide to our runway. I'm not going to be using this engines at all as we descend to the atmosphere. I'm just going to use the craft's aerodynamics. Then we're going to need to bleed off some speed so I can use those wing tips on the edge there and flare them out when I use my brake action group. That's a nice feature that you can set up with your craft as well. Have them deploy with the brake action group. Then you can see all the drag that this craft has and that lets us slow down and glide right to our runway. And we're going to have a nice landing as long as we land pretty smooth. And we do. I am Echo 3. Thanks for joining me on this discussion about lifting bodies. I will see you next time.